Hey guys, it's Butterfly Hughes, and I'm really excited about this. Um, this is the sign that I just made last night. I'm so excited. Um, I recently just got this um, punch from Hobby Lobby, and I already threw the packaging away, and I don't remember who makes it. I think it's EK. I think it says EK on there. Um, but here's the punch. Um, and I was so excited. I used my liquid pearls, of course, down here, um, and in there, and I inked it because all of my things are brown, blue, and green polka dots, so of course I inked it in sort of a polka dotty um, fashion, and then I used glossy accents over um, the words butterfly hues, um, and then this paper, um, somebody gave to me from Hobby Lobby, and the three types of liquid pearls that I used on here were black onyx, or four, I'm sorry, um, here, let me get them, sorry about that, okay, they were... Platinum Pearl, Buttercup, Silver Pearl, and Black Onyx. And um, you actually, it's way better if you store these upside down um, because they, I noticed they flow a lot easier and they come out a lot flatter and there's not as many bubbles and things like that in them. And they don't flatten out, which I was having a problem with that recently, but I fixed it. Um, I just hot glued this down. Um, I hot glued this because all of my crafting supplies has this. This is basic, this pattern, or, or this ribbon right here is basically what I um, did my crafting area around. Like I have it on um, my little container there. It's on my ribbon area. I don't know if you can see it, but it's back there on my box with all my embossing folders. So there's my awesome little sign that I made. And I also wanted to show you guys, I made this for my brother. Um, I know everybody was making those um, captured fairies. And I really wanted to make one, but obviously my brother is a boy, so... The captured fairy thing was kind of too girly for him. So he said, why don't you make me, you know, a captured Grim Reaper? Which is what's in there. You can kind of see it. It looks like he's walking through the woods, which I think is super cool. Because he's got, you know, his little wings. And he's got um, his little robe on and his dark hood. And, you know, at the bottom I just um, used some fibers. Um, that I inked with Tim Holtz Distress Walnut Stain and a little bit of um, dark forest green ink. Um, I don't remember where I got it. And some black that um, I just got in the dollar bin from Walmart. Now here is the back. I um, made him a tree, and I made all these leaves, you can't really tell, but all these leaves are really nice and green, and then they go to a darker green, and then a brown, and then they start falling off, um, which I really was super excited about. Um, in the background, you can't really tell because of the glare, but he it's like a woods um, background that he's walking through. And he's attached to three sticks, which my lovely husband cut down to size for me. And his tag says he is a captured Grim Reaper. And he was caught on August 31st, 2013. He wanders his woods looking for lost souls. And I named him Reapy. My brother said I should have named him Rupert, but I already made the tag, so... Um... Yeah, um, tell me what you guys think. Um, like I said, he's kind of plain, but I really like it. It turned out really well for my first time. Um, so, yeah, um, you guys have a good night.